is Felicity Glitty Tail, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make. Dun, 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 dun. An ice cream sundae. Okay. Anyway, so first, obviously, you're going to need some ice cream. And I'd recommend that it's not something kind of plain or bland, like strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, or something. So that's why I just chose a half baked, it's like a lot of stuff. Um, a one small slice of ice cream cake, um, some pretzels, they can be spicy, a little spicy if you want, and marshmallows. And your supplies you'll need is some things to carry those in. Um, a bowl that you'll be making it in, a masher, a knife, a spoon, and then a spoon for your hungry. Well, yeah, guests that might be eating something. Okay, so let's get started. First, what we're going to need is obviously ice cream. Ice cream. Get this first bottle. Um, because yeah, what's ice cream going to do without ice cream, right? Okay, so first, you're going to take the ice cream, and then take the spoon, start scooping it out as much as you can. There's not a lot of ice cream left in mine, so I'm just going to use the whole thing. Now, you don't have to eat it one in one day, but I recommend eating it as soon as you can. Now this is obviously empty. Well, actually, there's still some left in there. <laughs> okay. And now, take the ice cream cake. Oh gosh, it's melting. Slice it up. As small as you can get it. And as small as you can get it. And it does not have to be, you can just do this to make it kind of mushy. And if you don't have ice cream cake, just use some chocolate cake or any other kind of cake. Uh, make sure it's something kind of well, plain. Not really bland, but yeah. Okay. Now you take the spoon and you just dump it in there. I highly recommend ice cream cake other than just maybe something else, but you can use it. Oh, okay, now I just mash it up a little bit to get it all mixed in. Oh yeah, and if it's ice cream cake, make sure that the ice cream and the cake is different flavor than the ice cream that you're originally using. So it should look something like this. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, I also need a microwave. <laughs> Now, this part. And now, this part's easy. You just mash up a bunch of pretzels. You just mash up all the pretzels to make it all. They don't have to be fully mashed up. Um, they can be fully mashed up, but you don't have to fully mash them up. So you'll get kind of super small pieces of pretzels. You could also use peanuts, but I chose pretzels because they're way easier to mash. As I said before, but they should be at least 
Um, the biggest they should be is about a centimeter, which is pretty small. Okay, this is pretty good. This is how it should look. Not fully like mixed like that, but pretty small. And now, if it's a small thing of ice cream like this, you probably don't want pretty big ones. And you might not want to use all of them. But, so yeah. But. Okay. Look a little gross, but it probably will taste very good. Yes, I did say probably. That's right. Okay. Oh god. I'll just keep it in there. So now that you have this, here part this part is very easy. First you just make sure the marshmallows are kind of down in there so that they won't overflow. I'll put it in the microwave, make sure the little bowl is microwaveable, and put it in there for maybe uh, 50 seconds. Okay, every now and then you might need to check back on them to see if they're. Because I'm mashing these. They'll probably get bigger and bigger, so you might need to check on them. Whoa, like that. You might need to check on them. Obviously, since I chose a very small bowl, but hopefully they shouldn't be too sticky, so they should be easy to put. Okay, do that. that to put back in to the bowl. Okay, only is a bigger bowl. That was stupid. Okay, I'll put it in a different bowl. Oh, 33 seconds. And there's some marshmallow left over. Yeah, you can eat that. But, it looks just not cut in a small bowl like this. And if you have mini marshmallows, just use that. You won't need to. Hmm. I'll get big every now and then. Very big. But you just have to let it subside till it gets kind of. <laughs> See? It's getting a little smaller. You'll need to check on it every now and then. Just to make sure if it doesn't overflow. But. Oops. But yeah. Okay, now it's good and good. Stop. Okay. So while you're waiting for it to. Then just wait for it to turn into. To a liquid. Stop. Stop. Yeah, yeah, this will take a very long time. And you'll just keep on having to stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. But while we're waiting for it 
this. While we're waiting for it, you can just mix this up because you don't want it all on the top. You want it mixed in. Now the ice cream will be kind of liquidy since you've been spending so much time on everything else. So, just mix it up good. I'm going to put it into the freezer while you wait for the marshmallows. marshmallows should be kind of like this. There. They're like well, s'mores. Okay. Take this off. Oh, it doesn't hurt to take some, right? So, anyway. Now that you have the marshmallows good, they should be at least a little bit brown. Not too much, but a little bit. So now you can take this actual ice cream out of the freezer. It should be at least a little bit of freeze. But I'm doing the video so I can't really do that. Okay. Okay, so now that you have all this, you should take a clean spoon. Actually. Wait, 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 wait. Um, let's start just scraping out all of this goodness and pouring it on to the oh good awesome since it's a little brown it's perfect exactly what you want and the outside will be gooey gross looking on the inside it'll be brown delicious yeah and marshmallows do look pretty disgusting but they actually taste Really good when they're warm. Ugh. Okay. So obviously it'll be a little sticky. This will be kind of hard. But guess what? No one said that you couldn't use your fingers and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take this and start scooping it off onto here. Since it's a little brown, it will be It'll probably be not as hard to pour on, but it'll be kind of hard scraping stuff off. will taste delish. Now you'll have your ice cream sundae. And yes, it does look disgusting, but taste it. If you have it, it'll taste delicious. Okay. okay. <gasps> it's delicious. Okay. Is it red yet? Yes. Oh, that looks disgusting. Taste it. It's delicious. See? Well, bye. Until the next Rose's cooking show.